pretty um, straightforward. And then we come to a patent. There's another type of IP that is also common here. A patent basically is you know, the grants by government for an invention that is new, uh, you know, capable of industrial protection and that is useful. So for instance, anyone that, or, or an improvement of it. So if you come up with an invention, let's say, um, okay, I was talking about pharmaceuticals some minutes ago. So let's say if I'm, if I'm a product, a, a medicine or a pharmaceutical product, right? The government would grant you or the manufacturer or the inventor or whoever, the company that, you know, that created it or came up with that pharmaceutical, the a right to exploit that product for a period, typically 20 years, in Nigeria it's for 20 years, right? And then after which it will fall into the public domain. What that simply means is that after which it becomes free for all. The rationale behind patent protection is that, you know, the government wants to encourage creativity and also wants to reward creativity efforts money that has been expended research and development and all that that has gone into creating something so you could get patents for pharmaceuticals patents in the technological space patents in different even agricultural biotechnology all sorts of spaces as long as you're able to create an invention come up with something that is new or is an improvement of what already exists in the state of the art and that means what already exists in, you know, in the industry, in the particular industry, you know, and it's capable of industrial application. So if I go to my house and just invent something that cannot be, you know, industrial produced in an industrial um, in industrial numbers or quantity and all that, then it can be patented. Or if I go and create something that is that already exists or someone has already created, then I can get a patent for it. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to talk about.